Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. In today's video, we're gonna go over the latest leaks and rumors of the upcoming DJI Mini 3 Pro. Over the last 24 hours, we learned a lot of new information because of a leak that happened on a Dutch retailer, Top RC. They prematurely published one of the listings and it gave us a lot of information about flight time, the controller, and different specs, including the camera specs. Now, before we get too far into this, I just wanna mention again, anything that we talk about is still speculative and rumor at this point. Until DJI makes an official announcement. Take everything with a grain of salt. Things can change and things can be inaccurate. But with that said, talking about some of these leaks and rumors can be fun and it's interesting to discuss. Now before we get into the specs and flight time and all that, let's discuss some of the latest rumors on pricing and release date. Now as for pricing, we're going to go by the latest information from Jasper Allens. He does a lot of leaks and information on drones. Uh, definitely go and follow him on Twitter, Jasper Allens 27 Leaks, and he does have a Facebook group as well. Definitely go and check that out. He's very thorough and he's pretty good at rooting out what's real and what's fake. But he's put together a price list here and I'm pretty sure that this is going to be fairly accurate. Now these prices are in Euro, so just keep that in mind. And sometimes it's not as easy as converting them over to direct US dollars or Canadian dollars. Uh, sometimes there's some other factors at play there, but it gives us a rough idea of what we're going to be spending to get the Mini 3 Pro. Uh, this first price here, you can see it says $739. Now that's just for the drone and a battery. It does not include a controller because the controller that's going to be coming, the stock controller with the Mini 3 is going to be the RCN1 that we've already had. So it appears you're going to be able to buy the drone without a controller and that way you don't have to spend that extra money if you already have it. If you want it with a controller, you can see here it's listed at €829. Euro. So that converts roughly to what about 905 US dollars. So this drone is not going to be cheap. But what I really like what they're going to be doing here, similar how they've done it with the DJI FPV and the Mavic 2 Pro, they're going to have the combo kit as a separate purchase. So as you can see here, you can purchase the Fly More combo for 189 euros. So that's a nice touch that allows you, if you can only afford to pick up the base kit to start, you can always pick up a Fly More kit at a later date when you can afford it and still get the extra deals. And and then of course down here at the bottom 999 euros that'll be the package that has that new rc with the built-in screen as for release date many are speculating it's now going to be may 10th and that's due to a sale that's going to be starting soon that's going to end on may 9th but again that's all speculation nothing is set in stone so now let's talk about some of the specs that we learned in the last 24 hours and really essentially uh, what we're going to be seeing with the mini 3 is basically we're going to have a mini version of the Air 2S. A lot of the specs are very similar, except of course the sensor size. A lot of people were hoping for a one inch sensor, including myself, but that appears it's not going to be the case. According to the top RC leak, the sensor size is going to be one over 1.3 inch. So that's not quite a one inch sensor, but it is closing in. So it's a decent size and mixed with that 1.7 fixed aperture, you know, it's going to have pretty good low light capabilities. On top of that, it's going to support HDR video. So that's going to come in really handy in complex lighting environments. It'll be capable of 48 megapixel photos and it's going to be able to film at 4K 60. So that's a really huge improvement over the Mini 2 that can only film at 4K 30. Now previous rumors from a leak suggested that the Mini 3 may have four times optical zoom. Well we know that's not the case now. It's going to be digital zoom which still is a nice feature to have. And as we've already talked in previous videos the camera will turn vertically 90 degrees allowing you to capture vertical video for social media, things like Instagram Reels, TikTok and YouTube shorts. Apparently DJI will be calling this technology true vertical. But one really important spec that we've learned is that the camera and the drone is going to be capable of capturing footage in decent light. So if you want to be able to capture in a flat profile, do your own grading, you're now going to be able to do that on the Mini 3. Now due to the front facing sensors, the rear facing sensors, and of course the down facing sensors, the Mini 3 is going to have a pass 4.0. Now that's going to be the same technology on things like the Air 2S, the Mavic 3. That allows the drone to bypass obstacles. Most likely it'll be set up similarly in the software where you can adjust the behavior of the obstacle avoidance. You can have the drone come to a complete stop if it detects an obstacle or you can have the drone try and find a safe route around it. The other thing that you'll be able to do is disable it altogether if you don't wish to use it. Now on top of that we should have the full focus track system. Now if you're not quite sure what that is basically that's a set of intelligent flight features such as tracking, point of interest, and a feature called spotlight. In addition the Mini 3 is apparently going to be capable of hyperlapses, time lapses, master shots, and of course panoramas. So the Mini 3 should have the full set of intelligent flight features that we see in some of the other DJI higher end drones. Now according to that leak, the standard battery, because they're actually going to have two batteries according to some of the leaks, 
The standard battery, you're going to be able to get 34 minutes of flight time. So that is an improvement over the Mini 2 slightly. But what's more interesting is that they're going to have a bigger battery that's going to allow you to get up to 47 minutes of flight time. Now, just keep in mind with that bigger battery, it will put the drone over 249 grams. But it still is a great option for some people where that 249 grams is not a big issue. They would prefer to have longer flight time over the lower weight. Now, it makes a lot of sense now because if you look at this photo here of the bottom of the drone, it says ultralight 249. 149 grams. Now this is stamped on the bottom of the battery and not the arm like it is on the Mini 2. So that makes a lot of sense because if you take that battery out and you put one of the larger batteries in, they don't want to have that uh, 249 grams still attached to the drone. So it makes sense why they've moved that now and printed it on the battery. And as mentioned, the RCN1 controller will be included with the Mini 3 and that tells us a few different things. Uh, we know that the Mini 3 is going to be running OcuSync 3, so it's going to be compatible with the older controller that has been around for quite some time. I think this was originally launched with the Air 2, the original Air 2. But it also means that the Mini 3 should be compatible with the RC Pro. So if you own the RC Pro and you want to fly the Mini 3 with it, you should be able to. Now whether that feature will be available on launch date, sometimes it takes DJI a couple months. But on the other hand, it could be available with a firmware update on day one release. What we don't know is the new controller that has the built-in screen, whether it will be compatible with other drones such as the Air 2S, the Mavic 3, or if it's only going to be compatible with the Mini 3. Now myself I'm pretty confident that it will be compatible with all the other drones such as the Air 2S, perhaps the Mini 2. I think this will be sold separately and a cheaper alternative to the RC Pro if you don't need some of the professional features. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated.